Hi friends, it's Miss Nikki. Our Bible story today is about a man named Gideon, and he was leading God's army. I am sure there are times when he had to be very quiet with his army so no one would find them. Gideon had to trust that God's way is perfect, even when he didn't understand what God was doing. There may be times in our lives when we have to do that too. That's why I'm so glad that we are learning our memory verse for the month. Do you remember our memory verse? Our memory verse says, God's way is perfect. 2 Samuel chapter 22, verse 31. And our bottom line is the same. God's way is perfect. So when I say, whose way is perfect? You shout, God's way is perfect. Are you ready? Whose way is perfect? God's way is perfect. Today's story comes from the Old Testament in the Bible. You can find this story under Judges chapter 7 verses 1 through 8. Gideon trusts that God's way is perfect, even though it does not make sense at the time. So today we're going to hear about a big army and a small army, and I can't wait to hear what happens. But before we get to our story, let's play a guessing game. I want you to guess which object is big or small. Here we go. Which tree is big? That's right. Which ball is small? That's right, the baseball is small. Check out these animals. Which animal is small? That's right, the mouse. Last one. Which one is big, the bicycle or the bus? That's right, the bus is big. Now let's learn how God used Gideon with a big army and a small army. This story we said was found in the book of Judges and it happened at a time when enemies of Israel kept attacking them and stealing their crops. Gideon was afraid of the enemy soldiers, but God asked him to be brave and become commander of an army who would protect his people. Now Gideon knew that God's way is perfect, so he jumped, jumped, and went God's way. Gideon got together the biggest army he could find. They were ready to go. But God told Gideon he had too many men. He said he had to make the army smaller. So Gideon said to the army, If anyone is afraid, you can go back home. And guess what? A lot of men went home. The army got smaller. How will they defeat the Midianites now? But Gideon knew that God's way is perfect. So he jumped, jumped, and went God's way. The army was now ready to go again, and God said, There are still too many men. Make the army even smaller. Take them to the water and tell them to get a drink. Then God said, The ones who put their face down to the water should leave. The men who lift the water to their mouth with their hands should stay. So once again, Gideon jumped, jumped and went God's way with an even smaller army. What do you think happened? Did this army win or lose? Well, they won, of course. They did because God's way is what? Perfect. Yes, God's way is perfect. Sometimes when God asks us to do something, it doesn't always make sense. But we can trust that God's way is perfect. So we can jump, jump, and go God's way. So whose way is perfect? That's right, God's way is perfect. See, Gideon was going to fight a battle, but God kept making his army smaller and smaller. Gideon had to trust that God's way is always perfect, even when he didn't understand how it would work. Sometimes we won't understand how God's way will work, but we can always trust God because God's way is perfect. One more time. Whose way is perfect? 
I want you to jump up and shout, God's way is perfect. One more time. Whose way is perfect? God's way is perfect. Well, I have a fun activity that you can try at home. Gideon had to use a trumpet with his army. And I would like for you to try to make a trumpet out of items around your house. And here's what you can use. You can use a cardboard box like a cereal box, some foil, string, and tape. You'll roll your cardboard box up like a cone, and then you will wrap and tape the foil around it. The last part, you're going to tape a string from one side to the other so you can put it over your arm. And make sure you cut an opening at the top so you can blow your horn just like Gideon did with his army. We would love to see pictures of your trumpet if you make one, so please feel free to share your pictures with Miss Malia. All right, let's bow our heads and let's pray. Dear God, I pray that we will trust that your way is perfect. I pray they will be brave enough to tell others that your way is perfect. And I pray that we will go your way even when they don't understand. Thank you for loving us and helping us go your way. We love you, God. In Jesus' name, amen. I hope you guys have a great week, and we will see you soon.